हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विजेश वेलकम इन द यूट्यूब चैनल द मशीन डिजाइन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू डू पार्ट मॉडलिंग इन सिंथोनस मोड ऑफ सॉलिड एच दिस इज अवर एक्सरसाइज फोर एंड वी विल मेक दिस पार्ट इन सिंक्रो मोड इंस्टीड ऑफ ऑर्डर मोड नाउ यू हैव अ क्वेश्चन वाट इज सिंक्रोनस मोड ऑल्सो हैविंग अदर क्वेश्चन आर सिंक्रोनस मोड वाई वॉट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑर्डर मोड एंड सिंक्रोनस मोड so if you want to know about the synchronous mode in detail please tap on i button and i have added link in description as well this post will clear all doubts this mode is very useful to create a part rapidly and possible to mo modify it quickly without entering in sketch so in this tutorial we will learn the extrude cut chamfer and hole command before starting our exercise I want to request you to, if you are new on our channel, then please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon, so you will get notified when we upload new videos. And for all users, please must like and comment. For this part, we need to create a sketch on an XY plane. So select rectangle by two points and hover the cursor on XY plane. Here, F3 and a lock pop-ups. Press the F3 for lock the plane. and uh, press control h for a sketch view start rectangle draw start to draw a rectangle then apply dimensions as per this given sketch so first dimension is 55 mm and then 60 mm now your rectangle is complete now draw circles draw three circles randomly then apply dimensions this is 18 mm diameter and both circles are single and diameter then this having 14 mm diameter This is 30 mm apart from this line, and uh, this circle is 32 mm apart from this line. So this is 32 mm. Now make both in horizontal, and both these both circles are vertically aligned. This will coincide with this. So now your sketch is fully constrained. Then also draw lines from here, and again lines from here. Apply dimensions. This should be fifteen mm, and this is ten mm. Both dimensions are equal to this. Then your sketch is fully constrained. Now just control I and press this. Just pull it up direction up to 15 mm. Now your base is ready. Just hide this dimensions sketch. Now apply chamfers. Make chamfer should be unequal seat backs and change the properties from here. Two seat backs, then OK. Only face. Select the face now. Select first face, this face, and uh, right click. And select this. This both corners. So your first seat back will be what? Fifteen mm. Seat back two will be ten mm. And right click, and finish. So your chamfer is ready, and now your base is completely ready. Create a rectangle on this plane. Select again rectangle by two points, and uh, start from here. Apply dimensions as forty by ten mm. Now 
now then pull it up it up to 14 on height create a sketch again on this plane so select line command and press f3 for lock this plane now control h or control f now start a line from here then here the line apply apply sketch dimensions 10 mm 20 mm 5 mm this will be again 10 mm your sketch is fully constrained now pull this sketch press it up to this plane so just over here no need to apply dimension because i want to just pull it up to this surface so just over here uh, this will lock it here and this will be here. and here now again add this dimensions and sketch again create a rectangle uh, rectangle by two points on this plane so press F3, Control H, create this, apply dimensions, 37 mm and 10 mm, and again pull this face, select this face and pull it up to this point. Now it's time to apply round or fillet. Actually, this is fillet command, but in this solid edge, this is known as round command. So just click and apply dimension is 12.50 as this. Now create a hole on this face by again look in this face, control H and create circle. This will be you create randomly then concentrate from here to concentrate and the apply dimension is just 12 mm diameter now uh, select this face and do it from reverse side so it will directly cut this or remove this material now your part is ready with all required dimensions and for more practice in solid edge using different different features please stay tuned so friends i hope you have learned about this exercise part modeling in synchronous mode if you have any query regarding to this topic please must comment in comment box section we will meet in our next tutorial stay tuned bye bye